Now in the next question that is question 21 as it reads the number of possible natural oscillations of air column in a pipe closed at one end of length 35 centimeter whose frequencies lie below 1 to 5 0 hertz are obviously this is a question of closed end pipe and try to find out what is the fundamental frequency for this if you try to find out the fundamental frequency this is simply velocity upon wavelength and wavelength in closed pipe comes out to be 4 L. So, this will be coming out to be 100 hertz. Here you have been given the velocity 340 meter per second and the length of the pipe has been given to you 85 centimeter. Now, you see the multiple of this frequency comes out to be the odd ones. That means either it will be 100 hertz or next overtone will be of 300 hertz and so on. So, if you start counting first one will be 100 then you see next one will be 300 next one will be 500 then next one will be 700 then again say 900 1100 next one will become 1300 which will be greater than the frequency given 1250 so you can count only these many frequencies so in these many possible natural oscillations you can vibrate this closed end so in total if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the correct option for this question will be the fourth one and that explains question number 21. Now let us discuss the next question that is question 22. Now in this uh, question 22 as it will read it is a question of Doppler effect. It says that a speeding motorcyclist sees traffic jam ahead of him. He slows down to 36 km per hour. This unit is to be changed in meter per second. He finds that traffic has eased and a car moving ahead of him. This car will work as source and this motorcyclist will work as listener here. At 18 km per hour is honking at a frequency 1392 hertz. This is the frequency of the source given to you. If the speed of sound is 343 meter per second, then the frequency of the honk as heard by him. Him means the motorcyclist who is working as listener here. Now you see the direct application of the formula frequency heard by the listener this is equal to frequency of the source C plus minus VL. Now you see listener to source direction is positive here both of them are moving in the same direction that means source is moving away and listener is chasing him. So the velocity of listener will also be taken as positive the velocity of source will also be taken as positive. So, C plus velocity of the listener, C plus velocity of the source and this will complete your expression. Here you see FS1392 will be substituted for C you will be substituting 343, VL that will be the of motorcyclist multiplied by 5 by 18 that will be 10 and this uh, 18 km per hour here so that will be uh, 15, 5 by 18 that is uh, 5 will be substituted for velocity of the source 10 for this. If you solve all of them then you will find that the frequency as heard by the listener that comes out to be 1412 hertz. So most appropriate answer for this question will be option number 3 and that explains the question number 22. Now let us discuss the next question that is question number 23. Now in the next question that is question 23, it reads two thin dielectric slabs. This is a question of electrostatics of dielectric constants K1 and K2. K1 less than K2 has been given to you. Two dielectric slabs, the diagram has been given. K1 and K2 have been introduced in between two capacitor plates are inserted between plates of a parallel plate capacitor as shown in the figure. You have two plates P and Q positively charged, negatively charged. As you will be moving from this end to this end, electric field will be decreasing. Now the variation of electric field E, you see there is a gap where electric field remains constant. The moment you are coming into dielectric it decreases. Again if you come into air remains constant. Again you come to dielectric it decreases and remember that electric field divided by dielectric constant that will be the electric field inside a dielectric. You see so the tendency will be to decrease then remain constant then decrease this kind of variation will be there. You have to find out the variation of electric field E between the plates with distance D as measured from plate P is correctly shown. You have to move from this end to this end. Now see, first you have to see that electric field should remain constant. 
then it should decrease. Now again remain constant then again decrease. Now you have to check the decrease. Since K2 is larger, so decrease will be more in second part rather than first part. If you look at the options, here they have shown decrease but next time they have not shown any decrease. Most appropriate answer comes out to be the third one. Here you can see electric field was constant then it is decreasing the, but decrease in first part is lower. This is for K1. Then again comes back to normal value. Then again it decreases for larger value K2. Again becomes constant. So this is the most appropriate option. I am marking option 3 for this question number 23 and that explains it. Now let us discuss the next question that is question 24. Now in next question that is question 24, it reads a conducting sphere of radius r is given a charge q. This is a question of electrostatics and very easy one, very straightforward direct formula based. The electric potential and the electric field at the center of the sphere respectively. You see for a conducting sphere the electric field inside is 0 and if you talk about potential that remains constant and whatever is the surface potential that remains at the center. So if they are demanding at the center the potential, potential will be q by 4 pi epsilon naught r and the electric field will be 0. So the most appropriate answer for this question that will be option 2 and that explains question number 24. Now let us discuss next question that is question 25. 